Hello, I'm MK Davis. What you're looking here is a web page about a creature that lives in a cave called Shemp. The Choctaws believe that Shemp comes out of a, a cave uh, and he terrorizes the countryside. I think I found that cave. This cave is located in northeast Mississippi and it's uh, on some sacred ground for the Choctaws. Nearby is their mother mound, the Naniwaya Mound. This cave is supposed to be where Shemp comes from and where he emerges from the ground. Uh, and so I went in that cave and I was very surprised to see. Um, well, let's just look here in a minute. And some people might think it was foolish to go in there. And looking back at it, I think probably was. This was way back in the middle of nowhere, like two miles. But I went in the cave, and then I uh, looked back out, and what struck me was that the walls of the cave seemed to uh, be polished. If you look at this right here, from traffic, from traffic coming in and out of the cave. If you look to the right there on the on the ground, uh, you, it's too late now, but someone placed a stick that resembled a snake inside the cave to guard the entrance to maybe discourage someone from coming in there there i am coming out of the cave and you see that the traffic has been so heavy coming in and out of this cave that it's worn the ground down it's got its own little road going to it and this has been over eons what's unique about it is that this cave and the mound and the whole river pearl river uh it it comes out of an old ancient impact crater and the rock is all fractured under there and that that goes into that area so it no one really knows how uh, lengthy that cave system might be Here's the Pearl River itself, the very beginning of the Pearl River. And if you look, as a be a bridge there. And that bridge goes to a trail that leads to the mound. And it used to belong to the state. And they wanted to give it back to the, to the Choctaws. And the Choctaws kept it open for a while. And then they had problems. And, and I understand that their problems were Bigfoot related. And so they, they closed it down and locked the gates. They had uh they called in a Bigfoot hunter and he came in and well here's the mound. Um that's the mother mound and it, like I said it's at the end of the trail. Uh so the Pearl River if you recall if you go down the Pearl River there's Honey Island and they have a swamp monster there. Uh so Shemp uh the idea perhaps that I'm getting at or driving at is that Shemp perhaps uh, is the same thing as what's in the southern end. They call a swamp monster or a rougarou. Uh, but that it's an interesting concept. Well, you have to have special permission to go in there now. And then if you do get that permission, you see how far you have to go. Uh, it's probably a couple of miles back in there. It's all locked up tight. So here is the Naniwaya Cave. This is the home of Shemp, the home of perhaps Bigfoot, uh, they say, the Choctaws say. See the little snake-like stick down there? Maybe you'll see it again. The polished, the walls are polished uh, There's from eons of traffic in and out of there. Maybe it's people, maybe it's Shemp, don't know. It's dark in there right now. Here's the inside of the cave, looking back toward the opening. Look at the rock on the side of the wall of the cave. It's all polished from just traffic, from just rubbing it. And you see that snake-looking thing on the f ground there. Here's a, a look back down the cave. Uh, kind of stitch this together. It's a... Uh, it's uh, enlarged and getting larger on further back in there. But I only had a phone light, so that's far as I could go. And uh, here's kind of looking at it from a distance. You see the it's a remnants of an old crater. So you see this this eruption of rock coming up. Uh, and the Pearl River is just on the right, and the Pearl River actually comes out of this crater. 
So this cave system goes down into that area where the pearl comes out. So from the very beginnings of the pearl, uh, uh, Shemp or Bigfoot or whatever the Choctaws have name they have for it, is immediately along the Pearl River if it comes out of this cave. And if it comes out of the cave and goes along the Pearl and you follow that Pearl on down, it's solid woods on either side. It's a wild river. You end up in Honey Island, where the river water rests, and uh, things go bump in the night. I thank you for your time.